You have a man left to a grand right and left. Right and left and round the ring, warm on your heel and toe. Just I do with your lady fair, and I'll promenade her around the square. Promenade that mountain, promenade. Now the head couples forward, you come back to the ring. You pass through and separate around the outside ring. Come back home and doze a little, it's to your corner, Alamando. Come back to your partner, you swing them round and round. Alamando left on the corner, now you walk right by your own. Yes, swing on the right and lady. You got everything there in the basket now that Miss Pinkley wanted? Yeah, I got it all. I got everything. Well, now, just a second. Let's see. Lettuce, eggs, can of milk. Now, say, where's the fly paper? Why, did uh, she want some fly paper? Oh, of course she did. That's the first thing I told you about, Deb. Now go ahead and get it. Ah, oh, sure. I didn't hear you say anything about fly paper. No, you never hear nothing that's got something to do with work. I'm uh, sure it. Here you be. Here you be. A sheet of fly paper and a can of sardines. Sardines? She don't want no sardines. Well, she's going to have to take them. They uh, stuck to the flypaper. Oh, land sakes. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Tell her there won't be no charge for them. And, and move like you was alive, will you? Well, I am moving, ain't I? Yeah. Jag nabbit. All is rushing yourself. Hmm. I have to trouble you. All is getting hmm. all over you. Rush you. Can of sardines stuck to flypaper. Those are profits in the whole darn order. Buy a nickels with a fly paper and get your five cent can of sardines for nothing. Well, by cracky, that's it. I'll charge her for the sardines and she can have the fly paper for nothing. That'll fix it. Yes. Get this written down here before I forget it. Let's see, Pinkley. Miss Pinkley, five cents worth of fly paper, nothing. One can of sardines. Hmm. Don't seem to work out like that. Yeah, one, um, uh, say, uh, one, uh, say, Mr. Witterbottom. Oh, say, uh, say, say you, you, now, wait a minute. Come here a second, will you? Uh, you're going to the academy and getting an education. Here's something you can figure out. Miss Pinkley ordered a nickels with a fly paper, but there was a can of sardines stuck to it. Now, um, how can I charge that up without losing so much on the deal? Well, uh, well, you see, uh, you see, that's very difficult, Mr. Witterbottom. That's very difficult. Mm. It's a good thing that I came in. Mm -hmm. You have to figure that out by algebra, you see. Figure that by what? Uh, by algebra. Now, uh, uh, now here's the way you do it. Uh, uh, we'll call the sardines X. Call them X? What's X got to do with it? Oh, never mind, never mind. I told you this was very difficult. If you want me to help you, you've got to do what I tell you. The sardines is X. Well, all right. All now, right. Uh, X them out. Yes, I'm Xing them. Now, uh... Now, the, uh, we call the fly paper Y. Yes, call it Y. Then you, uh, wipe that out. Yes. And there you are. You see, it's very difficult. Yes, but that ding it, that don't leave me nothing on the books. Well, that's all. That's right. That's right. Uh, Mrs. Pinkley doesn't owe you a cent. I just proved it by algebra. Now, you've proved it by a lot of darn foolishness. That's what you've done. It's just a lot of darn... Now, Mr. Yeah. Winterbottom, yeah. I am shocked. Yes, sir, I'm shocked. Yeah. To think that a man of your education would say that algebra is foolishness. Yes, well, I don't give a darn what you think. It's wrong, because well, you... Well, then think. figure it some other way. Figure it any way you like. Figure it this way. In the first place, Mrs. Pinkley owes you five cents for the fly paper, don't she? Yes, of course she does. But she doesn't owe you five cents for the sardines. No, nothing for the sardines, that's right. Yeah. In other words, uh, she owes you five cents, and she doesn't owe you five cents. And one cancels the other. Oh, yes, yes, I see. I see it now, Hector. Say, an education is certainly a wonderful thing, ain't it? Yes, yes, I should say so, Mr. Yes. Winterbottom. Why, in, the, in just a short time, I've been going to the academy. I've learned how to double my money. Hmm, you don't tell me. Yes, sir, yes, sir, that's... Uh, why, uh, why, I can double my money any time I take a notion, hmm. and without taking the slightest risk. Well, uh, say, um, how do you do it? Oh, gee, gosh, clinkers, Mr. Winterbottom, I, I really shouldn't let it out. Gosh, I, I'm sorry I mentioned it. Just forget about it, will you? Gee, I oh, now hold on there. I ain't going to say nothing to nobody. How do you do it? Oh, gee, Mr. Winterbottom, gosh, listen, don't ask me because you Oh, uh, because I'm John and Hector, I'll keep it, Mum. You can trust me, can't you? Yes, yes, I guess so, but, uh, but, uh, well, say, look here. If it's worth a dollar to you, I'll tell you. Have you got a dollar? 
Why, yes, yes, I think so. Just checking here. Yes, here's a, here's a dollar bill. Oh, uh, yes, yes, a dollar bill. Uh, well, thanks, Mr. Winterbottom. Yes. Now, now you won't bring this to a soul, will you? No, sir, no, sir, not to a soul. Um, now, how do you do it? Well, uh, uh, just like this. You take a dollar bill, uh, fold it in the middle this way, yes. and you double your money. <laughs> well, well say, say, you you come here, Con. You come back here with that dollar. Dad, didn't you already hide our friend? You could turn and hide with Mr. Boston. Oh, oh, excuse me, Hortense. I was a-hollering at that consign Hector. At Hector? Yes, yes, he just run out of here. Didn't you see him? No, I didn't. And what's more, I don't want to. Well, I don't either. Oh, Mr. Winterbottom, have you heard the news? The Academy and Squidgeville High are going to play a postseason football game. Yes, I heard about it. That's all Hector's been talking about ever since he started going to Academy. He says he's going to play in it. He's, um, uh, what do you call it? He's trying out for the team. <laughs> What's that Mr. Next? Smith on the football team? Yes. What a joke. <laughs> well, I don't know, but... Oh, uh, how funny. Do, Hart, can't. Yeah. What's the joke? Why, the idea of Hester Smith trying to make the academy football team. <laughs> it's worse than that. Any fellow that plays football is crazy. Ought to be locked up. The whole game is just a lot of dad there and foolery. Oh, it isn't either. I wouldn't rock across the street to see the best football game that ever was. That's because you've never seen one at all. Because when you see a big game, you have one of the world's most stirring spectacles. Uh, why, do you have to have spectacles to see one? Oh, I don't mean that kind of spectacle. I mean, a big game gives you a thrill, fills you with emotion. Uh, fills you with what? Emotion. You know what emotion is, don't you? Why, of course we do, Hortense. We sell it right here in the store. It's got emotion, of Oh, course. dear. I said emotion. Excitement. Why, it's the most exciting thing in the world. A man on your team has the ball. Yes. He breaks through the line. Yes. An opposing player tries to tackle him, but he swerves. Through the ball and flies on. Uh, <laughs> flies on what? Flies in the ball. Oh, I don't mean flies on the ball. Hey, you see there, Zeb, you're wrong. Yeah, there ain't no flies on the ball. Of course there aren't. But... Yeah, the flies are on the teller. But they aren't. They aren't, I think. Well, then where are the flies? They're... Well, what difference does it make anyhow? Just set out some fly paper and that'll get them. But I didn't say anything about flies. Well, said... you just certainly did, Missy, now. You said the, the man had flies on the ball. I didn't either. The man hasn't anything on the ball. That's fact. If he had anything on the ball, he wouldn't be playing such a dad darn fool game. What I said was that the man ran, uh, flew down the... Uh, first you got him running, and now you got him flying. Yes, yeah. now just a second, Hortense. That's a pretty wild story. If your pa knew that you told fibs like that, he... he... I'm not well... telling a fib. I'm trying to describe a football game. I say the man runs down the field very rapidly. Yes. Suddenly, one of the opposing tackles... The what? Tackle. Tackle. One of the... Yes, yeah, Seb, you know tackle. What you catch fish with? Oh. Well, uh, why, did the fellow have a fish? No, he didn't have a fish. I mean, he was tackled. But he plunges on and on. The grandstand is cheering itself hoarse. Yes, what? Hoarse. The crowd... Now, just a second, Hortense. You might as well stop right now yeah. and make up your mind what you're talking about. Yes. What I'm talking about... Yes. Flies or fish or horses. Oh, I'm not talking about any of them, you... I, I didn't ask you if you was talking about any of them mules. I asked you... If I you... didn't say mules. You did, you did. You're always coming here and starting an argument. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you want to buy something, Hortense... Step... I just want to tell you to send up two quarts of milk tomorrow instead of one. Good spot. Yeah. Yeah. Good fire. Well, can't shine it. Why couldn't she say so in the first place? What I want to know. Somebody ought to tell her the time's money around him. Oh, say, <laughs> say, uh, <laughs> say, uh, What's that? listen here. Uh, I bet you, Dollar, I can tell you how to double your money. Uh, well, uh, how? <laughs> well, I ain't telling you till you bet. You want to bet? Ah, uh, sure. It's just that uh, darn fake. Uh, a fake? Well, if you think it's a fake, why don't you bet then? Why don't you bet? You're scared. You're scared to bet. <laughs> and give me a dollar, and, and I'll bet you I can double it for you. Scared nothing. I'll bet you. Put oh. up your dollar. All right, sir. There you be. Right in plain sight in the counter. Now put up your dollar and I'll double it, double it for you. Well, uh, let's see here. Wait a minute. Uh, here's mine. Mm. Now there's... There's uh, two halves. Uh, let's see you double them. Mm. What? Two 
two halves. Oh, I darn that Hector Smith. Darn him. I'm asking him a lie. Concern that young jack. 